Okay, in three, in two, and one. Do we have four Aquarius, please? Oh my. Somebody could be feeling very miserable. We've got the Nine of Swords, that is Mars in Gemini, and the Five of Pentacles, Mercury in Taurus. So usually this person is in mental agony, mental torment, it's so bad that they cannot sleep. That's why their hair is going gray. They could be very stressed out. Now, this is an interesting card. It's called Lord of Material Trouble. Somebody could be missing. Somebody may have ghosted. Somebody may not have shown up. Somebody could be ill. Somebody could feel locked out or cut out of, of, of your life. Somebody could have lost a job or lost a lot of money. But what's interesting, though, about this split is this person is in mental agony. Sometimes they're in a state of regret. This person could be in mental agony because you've ghosted them or they could feel locked out of your life. They could be regretting if, if they didn't show up for something, they could be regretting not showing up. Maybe they're hungover or they couldn't show up for a date. They may have forgotten something or they may be low on money. I'm generally seeing somebody who is regretting though regretting the loss of you or regretting ghosting or regretting not showing up or regretting they're feeling literally out in the cold so they may have done something that caused you to hit the road they're definitely in some kind of state of regret let's keep going um, so you obviously you could be dealing with a Gemini or a Taurus here. <clears throat> Show me more, please. Okay. They could be trying to figure out what to do. Now, if these two people are the same person, what this person could be regretting is uh, some kind of a choice point. Because this person does not look like this person. Notice how this person's hair is gray. So they could be regretting something in the past. They could be looking back when they had a, a choice, when they could have made a decision. Usually this person is not happy with what they've accumulated here. So perhaps what this person is regretting is not appreciating what they had. It's like they want to go back to this point, you know, where they, they could have realized, wow, I'm really doing well. Or if this was a choice point, they could be regretting, they could be thinking, there's where I made an error. Why didn't I, and then we'll have to fill in the blank because we don't know what this person did. Either they, well, three things could have happened. They could have done nothing and stayed frozen at this choice point. They could have ditched the past and moved on with something new. Or they could have stayed where they were and not moved on. So let's just see what this person is regretting when they're looking back. This is Saturn and Taurus, by the way, Mars and Gemini. What happened? What are they looking back at? What is this choice point? Ah, they're looking back. 
Okay, so they're either regretting ending something or not ending something. What they could be regretting is if, for example, in the past, this person looked at their current situation and thought, oh, this is just, this is over with, I'm giving up. Perhaps that's what they're regretting. Show me more. What what did this person do at the choice point in the past? What did they do? What did they actually do? Okay, there's three coming out. Good Lord. Oh. Uh, it looks like they turned something down or they perhaps they did not ask for somebody's forgiveness or they didn't make an offer of love. It looks like they, it, I mean, it looks like what actually happened. So this looks beautiful. They had an ace of cups coming toward them, but there was a ten of swords. So what they actually may have done is ruined or ended this beautiful ace of cups coming toward them. Um, clarify what they actually did. What are they looking back at that they are regretting? Sorry. Did they actually do? Ah, uh, well, five of swords. They may have screwed up a romance or screwed up a marriage. They hurt people, that's for sure. In the five of swords. It's almost like um, with the Four of Wands, these people are very welcoming. Perhaps you were welcoming commitment. And they, this person over here, I mean, they did something unethical, something sneaky. They may have used, they may have slandered, or, you know, they may have just said, I mean, I'm not sure why anyone would be cruel to this kind of energy. They may have ruined a chance of romance. Uh, let's clarify here. What did they actually do? What are they looking back at in two? that they're regretting. What did they actually do? One more. What did they actually do? What did this person actually do? Good Lord. They may have focused on money. Sorry. Or they may have married for money or Clarify what they actually did. What is the Five of Swords and the Four of Wands? It's the Five of Swords and the Four of Wands. Past judgment. Just a minute here. Sorry, I gotta get rid of that glare. Past judgment on something for what they. Uh, past judgment on a family because of what they did for work or repeatedly judged someone. We're going to have to get more clarification. I'm going to fix the glare first. I mean, they may have made a judgment, a decision not to put work into something. What is the five of swords and the four of wands for what this person actually did? There's three trying to come out. Okay, there's a choice, the lover's choice. It's a queen of pentacles and judgment. It's who they chose to marry. Okay, all right. Or, um, I feel like this person may have married for money. I feel like they may have married for money. Um, or for status because of what somebody, somebody somebody's job or something. Show me more, please. 
Show me more. Why is that person in agony? Why are they in agony? Because they're seeing that <laughs> they couldn't see. They, it's like they were viewing things through some kind of a warped filter. They were not clear about something. Uh, they may have, you know, had a, a confused version of things. The, the way that they may have been looking at things was out of touch with reality. It may have been through... They may have deceived themselves. They may have been too concerned about what other people thought. They may have been worried about what other people thought. Their decision-making, whatever choice they made, may have been impacted by what somebody else was thinking or because they were worried about what someone else thought because someone else was watching. Um, so they may realize now that what other people thought was actually a, a distorted version of, of what something actually was. So if this was you, if they judged you, if they chose someone else over you, what they're thinking here is that they were impacted by what other people thought and they're realizing that other people were wrong. Other people it, it caused them confusion. Other people sent them in the wrong direction or had a, a, an incorrect picture of who you were. Something may have been hidden. Sometimes the moon card just begs you to look closer. So maybe they didn't look closely enough at something or they didn't look closely enough at you because they were just relying on other people's opinions or maybe someone downright deceived them, um, you know, and pushed them in a certain direction because they were envious or who knows. Show me what they're regretting. What are they in a state of agony? There's three coming out. Yeah, okay. All right. So I feel like this is what they want, what they're missing now, what they feel that they lost. They're in a state of agony. It could be because something that someone said was deceptive or threw them off track. Um, they may, I mean, this can be a sexual card. They may have been, you know, perhaps they, they judged you I didn't realize maybe what they were thinking was it's just something physical. It's not, perhaps they thought you were <laughs> too hot to be marriage material or something or too young or something. Um, or there could simply have been a deceptive message. Show me more about what they're regretting. I feel like they feel like they were misled. Show me what they're regretting. Boy, are they ever regretting. Boy, are they, I mean, what they're regretting is losing you. They're regretting loss here. They may, what they could be regretting is there could have been a decision that they made based on money. They could be regretting worrying about money. could be regretting ghosting you or causing you loss. I just feel there's two fives here. So we've got Mars in Scorpio and uh, Mercury in Taurus again. They're regretting loss here. They could be regretting, you know, the... Five of Pentacles, if that was an action, it could be 
that they shut you out or they ghosted or they um, caused you to lose a job or to lose money. Uh, as something that they're regretting, uh, it could just be that they split, they hit the road, ghosted. They could be regretting, uh, worrying about money, or they could be regretting feeling sorry for themselves when really um, they could be realizing, gee, if I wish I had realized how lucky I was back then. I mean, as an example, if this person, when they met you, they were so depressed because they had just been broken up with. Um, and it's, it's, therefore it distracted them so much that they didn't realize what they had right in front of them. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen the movie The Apartment. It's a phenomenally good movie. Um, it has a very young... I think it's, is it Shirley MacLaine and Jack Lemon? I think, I better look that up. But there, there is, this is exactly what happened um, in the movie. The, the young woman met the young, met the main character when she was um, upset and feeling sorry for herself because her, the person that she was seeing who was married wouldn't divorce his wife. So she tries to kill herself, literally. And um, the, this, you know, young man who, uh, I think it's Jack Lemon who played that part, but he was so much fun to be around. He saved her life. And she realizes um, that she's in love with him, but it's almost too late. And then she's missing all the times that he wanted to play gin rummy and... Um, it, it, it's exactly what I feel like this person is going through. So if you met someone when, when they were, or you've been friends with someone and they've been moaning and groaning over, you know, the loss of some other lover, this could be your reading because somebody is looking back and realizing, heck, what the heck was I thinking? You know, I had Aquarius right in front of me and here I was blubbering, crying over you know, Tom, Dick, or Harry, or, or, you know, Jane, or whoever, and I had Aquarius right in front of me. What was I thinking? Something like that. I just looked it up. Aquarius, you have to, if you can get it on, maybe you can get it on YouTube movies. It's called The Apartment. It's a 1960 romantic comedy drama. And it's got Jack Lemon and Shirley MacLaine. You will absolutely love the movie. It was one of the most entertaining movies I've ever seen. It's a really good movie. Anyway, let's keep going. How else is this person thinking and feeling right now? So there are three trying to come out. <laughs> there is no... This, this reading is just like the movie. There's the past. And look at, and I feel like this is you. All this, so you would have been the Jack Lemon character, all positive, you know, and uh, gung ho. And they were all down in the dumps, didn't even see what they had in front of them. So th they, they're wanting desperately um, to get together with you again. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> They still have your number. I believe they're going to. You know what's absolutely incredible about this reading was in the movie, because I'm seeing this Ten of Pentacles here, um, the Shirley MacLaine character, she was the one in the Five of Cups there, down and all distracted, and she was actually seeing a married man. That's who she was depressed over. And I thought he was quite dull anyway. Um... Anyhow, this almost looks like her. She was very, it's, she was very young in the movie. Um, so 
this person, it's like they, they want an opportunity to be committed to you right now. Show me what this person is, what action is this person planning on taking? What action is this person planning? They may have lost your number. What act, they may not know where you are, you see. What action is this person planning on taking? They may uh, try to, um, <laughs> do you know what's crazy? <laughs> Maybe you met through friends or something. Um, they may not be able to get your number. Maybe you don't have friends in common. Um, but what's incredible, you, you have to watch the movie to understand how relevant this is. Um, anyway, I don't want to spoil the movie for you, but the Three of Cups here, um, they may not know how to get in touch with you. So they may have to go through, show me what action <laughs> this person is planning on take. They're going to look for you. They are going to look for your number. They're going to find you somehow, some way they're going to find you. Um, what's interesting here is you um, are sort of holding back your energy, and that's exactly what the Jack Lemon character did, because he, he became wary, you know. He didn't want to fall in love with her because he couldn't understand why, you know, she he knew that she was in love with this married man. But um, they're going to look you up. This person is going to... Sorry, this person is going to find you. They're interested in knowing whether or not you're going to withhold your energy now. Um, or they could be, if they, if they know where you are, if they do have your contact information, they could be noticing that you're reneging now or withholding your energy, probably because they spent so much time moaning and groaning. Wow, they are. Aquarius, I'm going to stop right here. So this reading is for um, if you've had, if you were, you know, if, if there was a possibility of a romantic connection between you and a friend, and this friend was moaning and groaning be, uh, over something, who knows what, it's not clear in this reading what they were upset over, but they were upset over some kind of a loss to the point where they didn't even see what was in front of them. So, um, if, if you have, if you have been in that situation, this person is going to message you and they are realizing that you are the one. And I am really hoping that you, you won't regret it, that you will not regret, um, looking up that movie and watching it. You're going to find that it's one of the most it's a very well-made movie, too. I think it's one of those Billy Wild, Wildler movie. Billy Wild movies. I know he was a really phenomenal movie maker. Um, it, there's something for everyone in that movie. Anyway, I'm going to shut up and post this reading. How cool. Okay, thanks for watching, guys.